Management Society and the consultant of uh, ear, nose, and throat and the cochlear implant surgery. Uh, hello, Dr. Khaled, and welcome uh, to our program. Hello, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thanks for uh, inviting me tonight uh, for this nice Thank program. Thank you so much. It also takes me great pleasure uh, to be welcoming through the DTL Dr. Antoine Nahmi, who uh, is a member of the American Board uh, of uh, Otolaryngology. Uh, we'll be discussing uh, those uh, issues about the difficulty of hearing with Dr. Antoine later in our episode. But now I'd like to start uh, with Dr. Khaled uh, from your title. It, it's mentioned the cochlear implant surgery and something just took my uh, attention. What's that? Before we talk about the deafness and the difficulty of it. Yeah, I uh, totally agree that you asked me what's that. It's um, as you have the uh, theme of this uh, tonight uh, program uh, is talking about the uh, difficulty of hearing and hard hearing and those who lost the uh, hearing sense uh, since birth. Yeah. Uh, we'll uh, go through different uh, issue, uh, but to answer your question uh, uh, for the interest of the uh, also our audience, uh, the cochlear implant surgery is it's not uh, something like a transplant where you take uh, a biological uh, living tissue and uh, implant it in a deaf patient so they they could restore their hearing. No, as a matter of fact, we put uh, a, a surgical uh, device, it's an electronic device, inside the uh, temporal bone, which is the bone uh, way deep in the inner ear. Uh, and that device, after stimulation a couple of weeks later, it stimulates directly the uh, uh, nerve and the higher center. Yeah. So the patient, by training and training, uh, with the external device, pick up the sound just like the ordinary hearing aid. But